I would say first and, first and foremost, be a good listener. Listen to that child. A child only misbehaves because they want attention. They're deprived of that attention at home, perhaps on the street, uh, lack of confidence with their, with their friends. So if we as adults just ignore them and don't do this to them, with them, on a regular base, um, I think so to be a good teacher, you really have to listen. Um, you have to give them parameters and they have to be parameters that they can comply with. Don't give something impossible. Start off with little bits, bits and pieces at a time. I was, I was mentioning earlier on, give them a couple of rules in your class. Two or three. I mean, they all have rules in the classroom, in any case, with their teacher. And just, what are those rules usually? Um, and remember them by name. There's nothing sweeter than hearing your own name. Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jesting, of course, but, but you know what I mean. It's, it's, uh, we ask our children in the schools, to, part of their art is to, on a piece of string, uh, design their own name. So the first few weeks we start to know what the, what the, what, what the names are. Because usually, I, I apologize, I'll say back to you, monsieur, um, there are many kids wearing Hilfiger, you know, uh, blah, blah, something, something. So, I, so together, hey, Mr. Hilfiger, or as I've just said to you, Mr. Blue, um, because I don't know your name, but at least you know exactly who I'm talking about. Oh my God, oh my God. And then once I know that person's name, I do it all the time, all the time. And um, even if they're misbehaving or even if they are um, being good, oh, uh, we have little, little circles that we buy from the education uh, stores. You were caught being good. I was caught being good. And uh, because many times, children who are being good get, get looked over. Only the wheel that squeaks the most, you know, gets, gets the attention. Whereas, hey, you know what? I caught you being good. You're sick of that. He's pushing all day long in the school, you know, on that day. And that's a bit of a signal that, hey, congratulations. Shake hands with them. Kids love to be adult-like. Shake hands. They have incredible imagination. <laughs> so, uh, and this is other than the technique of teaching, but it's just really being a human being back to them rather than talking down, talk to them. Yes, that is my advice. Madam at the back, yes, please. Um, my students, I'm a fourth grade teacher, and my students. You're actually, actually I'm a fourth grade teacher, and my fourth students. Fourth grade. Mm -hmm. They're actually in your program. Oh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and. Which school? Hang on, hang on. Which school are you? Petridi School in Staten Island. Staten Island, yes, very yes. good. And um, I've already seen a difference in my students. They enjoy at the end of the day, if we have like five, ten minutes before dismissal, we'll dance around our classroom and they're really enjoying it. One of my students, one of my girls, was Muslim and at first she said no, but her mom refused to let her dance. And after a few lessons, and I would dance with her or she would dance with another girl, her mother realized that it was okay, so now she's even allowed to dance with the boys. And, you see that? You see that? and it really is quite wonderful to see them excited and dancing and even, you know, they don't mind so much the girls dancing with the boys and the boys don't think the girls are too icky. Right. So right. I wanted to say thank you and it's really no, wonderful. I'm so glad you said that. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. So that other people hear you, ma'am, would you mind taking the microphone? Thank you. Thank you so much. And then, 15 years ago, I guess, and then five and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's, and I thought, oh, I won't be able to dance, mm -hmm. but, you know, because I can't walk. Yeah. And uh, I was very gratified to realize that ballroom dancing was good for me. Yes. And I'm participating in a program that has, this Sunday, it's going to, they're having a, you know, they have Mia and, you know, Pilates and yes. so forth. And I'm, I've been pushing for a ballroom workshop. So this Sunday, I have to co-host with my dance teacher a ballroom workshop. <laughs> they're having a whole day about music and the effect of music on the brain. And yes. you know, sometimes I can't walk, but I'll, there'll be a car playing music and I'll be able to mm -hmm. rumble down the street, something like that. That's so, right. I'm so glad I heard you, and I just wondered if you could repeat 
you know, what you said about, because, of, you know, the, the uh, respect, and, but the one point was that when the, the, the man, man or the leader instigates, and then the woman what? follows, picks it up, picks it up. and then uh, the man follows it. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm that's really wonderful. Look forward to dancing with my neurologist. <laughs> Before I take the next question, um, I just want to come back to you, sir, uh, is that we do have a woman who is blind coming to take lessons at our studio right now. So she's walking with a stick, but she puts the stick down, and the people, the, this is what's wonderful about the human beings. Um, if you give them a chance to be good, they will be good. And so she was nervous about coming up. We encouraged her to come, please don't worry. And she is now in a class, learning to dance with people she does not know. Look what a change in life that is. And oh, I remember once in England, in, the, in Manchester, we were many, many years ago, we taught a couple, a man and his wife, who were both blind and deaf. And they felt the rhythm through the floorboards. It was really wonderful. Madame. Dancing. I'm a teaching artist, and I took the your dancing interview in July. Oh, and I have fun. Good. So much fun. I learn a lot. Good. And today, I thank you for being here because I'm learning more. Thank you so okay. much. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been given the hook. <laughs> no, uh, sincerely. Sincerely, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much, Paula. Thank you.